two, one. Boom, and we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, it is 2018 now, as we left off with our Christmas episode in 2017. Mm-hmm. Uh, given that it's a new year, new year, new you, uh, we thought we'd start with like, uh, not start, but we thought we'd switch up the, the narrative of this podcast a little bit and make it more of like a weekly roundup. So like cool stuff that's happened during the week that we're going to look into, talk about, uh, philosophize about, and uh, yeah. So uh, so we thought given that we are also Socratic gamers, yeah, um, that the first thing we should probably talk about is gaming. So with 2018, what's new on the dock of Vish? So there's a few games that I have that I'm looking forward to uh-huh. that have uh, somewhat of a release date for 2018. So I won't talk about other games that are... Last of Us? Yeah, I won't talk about that. Oh, we're not going to talk about Last of Us? No, because it has not been mentioned if it's coming out this year or not. Oh, Rough Life. So, okay. So, oh, so we're only going to talk about things that are going to come out this year. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right. All right. So the first one on the list is A Way Out. Okay. Yeah. Give me a backstory. So it's set in the 1970s. 1970s? Yeah. Okay. That's it's cool. It's a two-player co-op. Uh-huh. Uh, and you're trying to break out of the prison. Okay, cool. And it's... Uh, Who's it made by? Uh, it's Haze Light Studios. Haze Light? Yeah. It's an indie indie game, but... Oh, okay, cool. I think, it, like, you have... PS4. Uh, it's for three systems, PC, PS4, and Xbox. Oh, okay, cool, cool, yeah, yeah. So it's out for everything. Um, you have to work with somebody. Oh, so it's like a it's like an army of two kind of thing. Yeah, it's like he wanted to bring back like some couch co op style. Couch co op, I like that. I like that. All right. Is it like couch co op or like digital couch co op? You, you know, you like can they do switch both. that up. You, you can know? do both. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. You can do both. So that's why he he wanted to do that. Uh huh. And it's you probably remember the guy. He, like he sh- Peter Pye showed him when he was reviewing over the Game Awards. The guy okay. that kept saying F the Oscars. Oh, that that's, guy. That's the guy. <laughs> oh, that guy was so next level, though. I think he was just... Too excited? I, this is his first time? I don't, I don't know about his first time, but it's more like... I think he was just... I don't know, had too much to drink? Or other oh, stuff. okay. I feel... He's yeah, just okay. like, wait, what's going on? It's going off. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. But uh, So that's that's one of the games. It's coming out March 23rd. March 23rd? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. So it's not too far away. Uh, So... So what the entire premise of the game is that you and another partner, just you have to play it with someone else in order to play it, or just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to? Yeah, so. Oh, that's kind of lame. So you no, can't actually play the game? No, yeah, it's, it's co-op. The whole thing is co-op. So oh. you, it'll work with someone online. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or someone couch co-op. That's cool. That's so what he, I think he prefers couch co-op. Right, 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 right. Do you remember Army of Two? Yes. Do you like it? I love number one and two, and then three was kind of like, mm. yeah, it was all right. Uh, I think this is a little bit different than that, though. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot different than that. So it's like Prison Break, like him and his brother. Uh, I don't think it's like Prison Break. That's that's all I know so far. Like they don't, they haven't men- mentioned too much. You can just watch the video. Okay, cool, cool. I think we're gonna overlay a video, right? So yeah, you'll see a little bit of that. Cool. Um, then the next game I had, okay, it's not in any order, so. Detroit be- Become Human. Okay, what's that about? Uh, it's made by David Cage that did Heavy Rain uh-huh. uh, and Beyond Two Souls. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a action, uh, what do you call those, a- time action? So, yeah, time it says movies. here it's like a, a player narrative uh-huh. type. So you, you were choosing the narrative. Okay, that's cool. Right, as, as we go along. Right, right, right. right. So it's like, yeah. it's like there's multiple different paths. I think I'm actually going to do a walkthrough of Heavy Rain like once uh, Last of Us is done. Because that game was just super sick. I don't know if I'll do Beyond Two Souls. It's kind of like, meh. Yeah, but, I, um, I don't think Beyond Two Souls did, did well. Yeah, okay. Uh, people didn't like that one, but they liked Heavy Rain. That makes sense. So it's basically playing as you're an android. And nice. you have different androids you'll be playing as for their Oh, it's, it's like all androids. Like yeah, the whole, you only oh, play as an okay. android. That's kind of cool. But different androids for different households. Yeah, so there's different stories for each android, right? There's the car one, then there's the uh, negotiator one. Yep, okay. One. And then there's someone else. But they haven't mentioned everyone yet, so. Okay, cool, cool. So that is 
for wait uh, j- just a quick disclaimer if you're listening to this on your uh headphones and not watching it on youtube head on over to youtube because we're going to overlay like little trailers of uh or like little pictures and stuff of whatever it is we talk about here today we're gonna we're gonna do some like digital editing on the 2018 stuff yeah yeah so anyways continue yeah and then uh so that's coming out spring 2018 so they haven't had it like official date okay and it's just for the ps4 what's the likelihood of these games getting like pushed back though what's the likelihood anything yeah, yeah it could always happen <laughs> mm, okay too bad that's why they put it as spring it'll be within a four month range what, what was that one game that we were like super excited about and they kept pushing about it was uncharted 4 like i remember you were saying like before i think it, it got pushed back only once Okay, okay. But there's yeah. a game that's been pushed... Oh, like, let's not even talk about Final Fantasy VII. That game's been pushed back so much because you're like... It's no, been pushed no, back, no. right? No, no, they haven't announced a date, so there's no pushback. Final... Oh, no, I'm thinking about Final Fantasy XV. Oh, the, yeah, the newest... The, yeah, no, no, the, one the newest out. one. Yeah, the one that's already out. I remember, like, that got yeah. pushed back, like, five times. It's first for, like, PS3, I think, then PS4, and then it was like, oh, next year, and then, like, <laughs> two more years. Like, I waited so long for 15 to come out. And then, like, I feel like in the lag time, what they did is that's why they created those, like, mini-stories. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, those, like, YouTube things that you can watch mm-hmm. and, like, all that other stuff. But, like, it wasn't that great of a game. <laughs> you know like like it didn't lead up to the hype i mean it was it was very unique in that yeah. that game um have you played it played a bit of it mm, i think i watched you play a little bit of it oh okay yeah so like basically it's unlike unlike the other final fantasy games not turn-based yeah so like you you actually have to like button mash mm-hmm. but that's kind of weak because it was like they've never really done that before so like i don't know what developer studio they had it was okay but it could have been better i felt yeah. Maybe it's for the newer generation to just... No, but, like, even the story was, like, pretty weak sauce. Like, they they pushed it back so much. I mean, it was still a good game. Like, it was still yeah. worthy of playing because I love Final Fantasy. But, like, I wouldn't say it was, like, up to Uncharted standards, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that standard is already high. Yeah, I've, I have a very high, uh, very high threshold, low, high threshold for games now because, like, after playing story-driven games, it's, it's very hard to find a really good game. Like, I saw you playing uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, we'll get into that after, because I'm actually curious about what your perspective on Assassin's Creed was. What's the next game? All right, so the next game, Far Cry 5. I don't Ooh, know. Far Cry 5, nice. Yeah. So that's the one made by Ubisoft. Yeah, I'll, I love Ubisoft. They're and sick. then uh, I remember, played... Remember Splinter Cell? Mm, I never played with Splinter Cell. Oh, okay, okay. That, was, yeah. that was a great game. Uh, but the the other Far Cry games was like in Himalayas. They always had like different right areas around the world. Yeah, yeah. And then so this one is in rural Montana. Ah, oh, I've been to Montana. <laughs> yeah, then, uh, interesting people, interesting place. So the main villain is like a deranged, powerful, and charismatic person who can uh, who came to power in a remote place, right? Oh, a cult so, leader. Like, yeah. And then that's exactly right. It's, oh, really? That's what they go into? Yeah. It's, oh, that's so he funny. He created a cult. Uh-huh. Called Eden's Gate, oh, like Heaven's Gate, oh, like the Heaven's Gate uh, Jonestown <laughs> Massacre. Oh wow, okay, I see what they're going for. So, and then he's like crazy followers, and you get to kill them. Ah, okay, okay, that's cool. Is it like in a dystopian future kind of thing? Uh, mm, they usually do that. Not stuff, really you know? in the future. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then that's coming up for all systems in March twenty seventh. Nice. Is that the last game? That's not the last game. Oh, okay. Got three more. Okay, cool. So the last three are like something I'm really excited about. Uh, God of War. Oh, but see, all right, no, God of War was good. I watched you play like the first one. You were super stoked on that one. I used to like go over to your house and watch you play <laughs> God of War all the time. But like, it was like, eh, like I didn't, I don't I like, like button mashers. You know, yeah, the story seemed okay, but I'm, I'm not a big button masher fan. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but the new one does look sick. You did show me a bit of the trailer. They're going super like human on this one. Yeah, like he's the got graphics a, he's are got a kid, next level. So you get to see those interactions, and then he's going after Norse gods. Nice. Yeah. If if uh, if you don't know the whole uh, God of War mythology thing, it starts with uh, Roman gods, or Greek gods. Yeah, Greek gods. Greek gods, and then uh, now they're diverging after they finished with the uh, Greek gods, like Hades and stuff. Uh, they are now attacking. Well, spoiler the... alert! Basically, you know, at the end of those games, he basically killed everyone. 
Oh, he of killed the gods. killed each of the gods. Yeah. Okay, and that's why they're probably gone. You know, it'd be crazy if like, well, I guess like they, if you're looking at like an extrapolated viewpoint of this, yeah. it's like they're trying to say that like we're now in, um, you know, that new god show that you're watching. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they're uh, they're saying that the god of war is the one who, um, like like paved the way for new new gods to come through because now he's gonna attack like Norse gods, right? Right. So like maybe he'll attack. Well, we'll um, see. We'll see the story. I don't maybe, know. Maybe he's the one who crucified Jesus in the in the future ones. <laughs> He'll go see Buddha. Who knows? Yeah. So, uh, but you're stoked about that game. Yeah. All right. And cool. that one, again, tentatively early 2018. Early 2018. Yeah. Oh, it's so like January. No, no, that's just, like it doesn't mean or it doesn't mean that January. Too bad. Too bad. Like it can be between January and I think April. Oh, or, okay. Or March or so. Oh, wow. So the are so like is this like how the video game seasons kind of follow through? Um, like they they move through the motions of it because it's like uh, um, the release dates are all at the beginning of the year, and then there's no summer hits, right? There are summer hits. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like what what are the uh, what are the well, major... not summer, more like spring. Yeah, and exactly. Then, and, then, and then fall. But I'm I'm assuming like do we talk about this before how it's like uh, they. They kind of focus on like when you're not, because like summer hit. There's no summer hits because you're outside playing, but then they know that when you're mm, actually playing, want it. it's like you're on vacation. Yeah, oh, exactly. So, so why would we yeah. drop a amazing hit right now? Yeah, yeah. So generally, they don't. It either be keep it at spring, and or then, the new year, or or fall for Christmas. Okay, what well, one's EB? EB? No, no. Uh, e three. E three. E three. E three is June. Oh, okay, okay. And that's when they announce things that may come out. Uh, let's like, mm, like for the for the fall. Cool. For the summer, for the Christmas or whatever. So, all right, the next game, the last two. These are the two big ones. I'm hoping they come out this year. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Ooh, Red Dead. That's gonna take over GTA Five. Yeah. That'll be interesting. And we still don't know anything about this game. Like anything at all? No, they're really. When's it going to be released? So they say spring. Uh, oh, interesting. But uh, I don't know. Hey, they could get pushed too. Right, 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 um, right. But right now they say spring. But th- that's an interesting one because usually um, movies, like if we look at like movie marketing, movies that have uh, really terrible stories and stuff, they get they get like so much heavy like promotion, right? Mm-hmm. But then like the ones that are good, you know. Like the 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 like the dark horse ones like this one how it's like they're not really putting anything out there it's like it's up in the air you don't know if it'll be good or not you know you don't know and you work on it for five years right exactly do you think the developers know like midway through they're just like oh man this game is trash but we got to get it done anyways because we have a uh i think so but there is iteration that it goes through with uh through sony comes in or Right. studios are watching what they're doing because some games do get cancelled oh really eh? yeah there was one game on Xbox that got cancelled is it like is it like a common occurrence or like not so much no it's because they go through so much like iterations uh-huh. until everything is like um, approved or whatever so it's not that common to okay. get things cancelled oh okay but okay. it can happen right 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 uh Anyway, uh, if the budget is too little or they didn't expect this much amount of money going in to make a game like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anyways. got you. And then the last game, of course, uh, is say, Spider-Man. Oh, I was not expecting that. You say, I was going to say, like, you say, of course, like, it's the Samurai game. Because when is that Samurai game coming No out? announcement of that. So that's oh, why I didn't add it. that in there. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so the Spider-Man game uh, is something we can look forward to. I did like the first few Spider-Man games. That was one of the first few games, like back in like PlayStation or Nintendo sixty four days, yeah. where you got like open world. You know, but, but you see, those were like they were done by EA or some other Activision, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, Activision, I remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they they were just making games that are related to movie or whatever, right? Like yeah. it's not they were good, but not like great. Right. So right. this has a chance of being a really good Spider Man game because. Good, but this, not great. You just said they were all good. Oh, okay. This could be a chance of making a great Spider-Man game. Really? Yeah, I think so. Well, because, why, why is that? Because the studio that's working on it knows open world. 
And they've oh, done, no way. They've done, if there was like an on their, um, Xbox game called Sunset Overdrive. Okay, yeah. And like how smoothly you can go around world, like the way that the character you're playing as can maneuver, right? Uh-huh. And I think Spider-Man needs that kind of studio. And that's the kind of studio there. Insomniac, that's the one they're working on. Do you remember, uh, do you remember the place, oh, no, sorry, the Nintendo 64 Superman game? That was like, that was one of the best games I have ever played. All that and, uh, uh, remember that like, naughty? He's like a bear. Uh, Conquers bad fur day. Oh <laughs> um, uh, no 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 no! I never remember. played any of these games. I didn't have a console as a kid, that's so true. I see it on like those wizard magazines that I used to have. True. Yeah, it's, yeah, oh, yeah. the Superman. Oh, that's cool. But I can't. Right, play. right, right. Well, I had the console, <laughs> so I was playing the games and stuff. But uh, the the uh, the Superman game was it was the first open world one where you could actually fly around. So you could fly yeah. to wherever you want to go. I saw image or that was an amazing yeah. game because I've I've never played a game like that afterwards. You know, because <laughs> it, it's so open that you can literally fly. Like I remember just to test it, I flew all the way to the sky and then you fly all the way down. I'm just like curious, <laughs> you know, like what's the where going? the limitations are. Yeah, yeah, what the limitations are. Yeah, yeah, and you can go anywhere in the game. You know, um, yeah, it was so it was a great game. But uh, the Spider-Man games, so, like the Spider-Man games, are limited to his web slinging, right? Yeah. But with Superman, it's like unlimited flight, mm-hmm. you know. So, but if you're listening to this out there and you know a game that's like Superman, or maybe there was a Superman game just like it later on, like let me, I don't think there was one. anything great of, for games. Superman after. Were there any flying games ever? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Like, uh, like, like that kind of like what I'm describing to you, where it's like open world enough that you can fly anywhere. I don't think so. Oh, too bad. That's one thing that developers know. need to work on, you know, because it's like that was. I think people are so they're cool. trying to figure. Like I've heard things when they were uh, when the Arkham series were doing really well. Yeah. If they can get into Superman, mm. but I think it's really hard to do it. You just got to find the right story, find For sure. the right mechanics, and all that y- stuff. So. You know what's interesting? People have these ideas of like games all the time, but like they don't have the. Uh, the uh, ability to uh, wait, wait before I diverge too far in this. Uh, what's what was the games again? You just want to quickly. Oh, you know. so uh, I think there were like six, seven of them. Okay, let me just. So look forward to this in 2018. Yeah, so there were the A Way Out. A Way Out. Detroit Become Human. Ooh, that's a good one. Far Cry Five. Yep. God of War. Red Dead. Cold game. Yep. And Spider Man. Cool. All right. So, um, so back to it. So it's interesting how like uh, you have these creative ideas for um, what would be a really cool game or like a cool technology, right? But you just don't have the technology. You don't have the capability of it in that moment. Yeah. So you know, like um, you were talking about a way out. How like uh, I saw like some of it. It's like it's split screen, but then it would become like single screen. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. It'll right. Be, right. Yeah. So my my cousin actually. Like, like some, what would also happen is one of them. Could be having um, a cutscene as the other guy's moving around. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So wow. my my cousin, like a long time, twelve years ago, he came from Japan, and um, uh, shout out cousin Jerome. Uh, so he came from Japan and he was like a coder and he was saying like, man, I would love to make a video game where it's like, it's like um, two people on screen, you and a partner, <laughs> and then as soon as you go left and he goes right, it's split screen so that you guys can focus on your own stuff. Right. And I was like, dude, that's like so impossible. That's like. No way, that's the future, well, right? Yeah, and then now we're the having future. it, you yeah, know? We Some of these like logical things. Another one is um, I was in a uh, university and uh, I had read uh, that, that space book. Um, I forgot what the space book was. Like, Jonah was really into it. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, right? right? right. right? Yeah. And then in it, um, you take the slug and then you could put it in your ear and then you could understand all languages, mm-hmm. you know? So then um, I was like, we were for one of the projects, like you have to come up with an idea. So I was like, okay, just create a device that you put in your ear and then it'll translate languages. And people were like, I don't think that's possible. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is. It's like, if you can, if you can have, you just take the annotation technology plus the translate technology and then it'll spit it back to you. Yeah. They have it now. It's crazy. Eh? Like we're, <laughs> we're in this like futuristic world of like, uh, I was listening to Joe Rogan talk about this, how we're like, we're in 2018 now, and it's like, we are literally in the future. Like, 2018 yeah. is something you only hear about in movies when you're like a kid. Mm-hmm. You know? And now we're here, and it's like, what kind of technology do we have? You know, what's yeah. available to us? That's a big eye opener, you know? Uh, speaking of technology, SpaceX, they had their launch. So they've had a, yeah, they've had a couple launches. I think they're having a, I don't know. I think they, it was postponed to today. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Like a secret launch for the government. Oh, nice. 
And uh, any. And then and then the, so the big launch. There was a launch form. prior. Yeah, there was a launch prior there. You could see some really cool like video images that they've got. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I reposted one of those. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really cool. It looked like I thought it was like an alien. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like on my whole feed was like people oh, yeah, like yeah, posting. The, I was like, what the. The night launch and yeah, then they yeah, left yeah. that marks all in the sky yeah that yeah. looks so good chemtrails <laughs> Chem- okay yeah so <laughs> uh so this year i think it's in january there's a big launch for their new rocket nice falcon heavy nice and, remember when you first told me about bfr and then oh, he's yeah. like oh guess what bfr is it's like big fucking something and then you're like well you're close i'm like no way and you're like yeah it's a big fucking rocket i'm like wow that guy's trolling like, so that, hard so, you know? so, yeah that's the like what do you call the unofficial kind of thing? Uh huh. But like, it's actually like Bill, Big Falcon rocket to be a, like for official terms. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But but Which it's funny. It's funny because like uh, like Elon Musk is such like a genius, but he's also such a troll. Yeah. That like uh, what was that boring company? Yeah. And then you were like, oh, I want to buy a boring hat. And I'm like, dude, that's not real. Like, he's just making fun of it. And you're like, no, no, he's, he's a boring company. I'm like, what? Like drilling. <laughs> drilling, yeah. And it's like, oh, that's so funny. That would be boring. Like you're yeah, boring yeah, exactly. into the earth. Exactly. But I was thinking like it's like bored. Like all my employees are bored to work here. I thought he was like trolling his own company. <laughs> No. Yeah, that, that's, he's got that's so many different companies. Yeah. What are you saying? What? He's got many different many companies that he's working on, right? So how does he have the time to work on all these things? You know what I mean? Man, he just that's all he does. You know, that's just all he does. Yeah. You think he's got like something like mentally like different about him? Like he's like got Asperger's or something? Like something? You know? I don't know. Nothing's official. I don't want to say anything like that. Yeah. But still, he's a cool guy. Him or Steve Jobs? I think I said this answer before. Oh okay, so would you would you like care to repeat who you believe well, is would, the better? I think Elon, man. Wow. In, it depends on which where you're gonna like. Uh, Actually, you know what? I would have said Steve Jobs before, but I would say Elon now. Yeah. His charisma is just too awesome. Like watching his videos where he's like dismantling people with intelligence. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh, speaking of intelligence, um, so we we're talking about like voting beforehand and like how voting uh, is. Uh, voting used to be done, at least in America, because we're talking about Elon Musk, BFR, I'm the rock launch. Um, voting used to be done, like you had to meet certain criteria to vote, right? You had to have like a specific amount of land, you had to have a specific amount of income, right? And it was almost Wait, like- in America? In America, oh. way back when. Yeah. Are you Go, sure? Yeah, 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 way, way back when. I saw Joe Rogan. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so he was just like, they were just deconstructing it. And like, um, it was almost like a precursor to um it was like almost like a precursor to not precursor it's like um oh, what do you call that it's like a it's like a gauge mm-hmm. like you had to be some level of intelligence to vote because like if you could be easily swayed by a lot of people then obviously the most popular person is going to win mm-hmm. which lot. is <laughs> which is kind of what happened now but it's different there too because it's not popular vote though the way you mean America is not popular vote. No, it's like the most votes. No. What? No, most votes is popular vote. Okay, so how how do they vote in America? Electoral vote. Electoral college. No, no, of course, of course, of course. But like when you come down to it, it's still like who do you, it's it is a popular it's it's like um who can gain the most people. Like it's still it's not popular vote though. Okay, it's, so explain it's, it. it's what I think we're seeing it's based two different on like things. what the number of what states, like, how much seats that the states get or something like that? I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, if it was popular vote, Hillary would have won. Oh, I see. I see. But but the places that have the most people. Not the most people. Oh, that's a misconception. It's not, it's not, it's not the most people. Okay. It's not the, the, the most seats. That have, the most seats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Most. That's what I meant. Most people on the seats, like. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I don't know what exactly, but it, it's, it's called electoral college. That's what they have there. Right? Okay. And he just won strategically the correct. Well, yeah, like uh, con- um, yeah. states. Yes. Basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, they they make so, so like then, it doesn't count if it doesn't matter the size of the. Uh, so then, uh, so then, why do people troll and they say like, oh, the most popular person won? Like he just knows how to rig the media. No, that's it's not true. Oh, interesting. New paradigm. So it's not that that he is the most popular. It's just they want to say something against the system. Yeah. Interesting. But you, those places with the most popular people, do they have the most smartest people? Like, is like LA one of the places with like the most people? 
like the yeah, most like seats. Yeah, like LA and New York and things they like that. They have the that. most seats? No, they don't have the most seats. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, because there's also a lot, there's a lot of ton of smaller states that are Republican. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and exactly. It's not about population there, right? Right. If it was about population, then, then Hillary California. would win. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oops. So they kind of just like so he just strategically gamed the system. So it's not that he was the most popular. It's not he just that knew he how to game the it. system. This it's the system that Democrats should have been prepared for. Okay. That's where they lost. They were not. Like they know this, but he no, but I mean he won the states that yeah, were the, important, so he gamed it. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. like, okay, I'll I will influence these people. I'll influence these people. I don't really care about these people because not that many seats. Uh, you know what I mean? Like if he knew if he knew he was gonna lose in a place where Hillary mm-hmm. was winning, then he's like, okay, I'll just focus on another one, because like I can let that one go. That's got like four points, whereas the other one's got like twenty five. Yeah, but I don't think he wasn't making those decisions. Oh, you think he was just like a spokesman? Do you think he's just a puppet then? Puppet? No, I'm not going to say that. Okay, yeah. But then if he's not making those decisions, who's making those decisions? No, like, you don't, as a president, you're not all the only one making decisions, right? No, no, of course, of course, of course. But at the end of the day, it's like you are the one saying it. Like, you're, you're the no, most you, liable. No, you try to work with people that can help you win. Of course, of course, but you're the one who's liable. It's like your face, you know what I mean? At yeah. the end of the day, he's the president. You make the final decision. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, it's the... Yeah. E- even though, even though, like, yes, he's got like a team behind him. It's like he's still the one li- accountable for his actions. Because it's like if America goes to war, it's like, well, it's the president. It's, he's like, no, no, man, it was the dude that advised me. Well, it's like, well, but he's not president. You're president. But the president can't choose. You got to go through Congress in actual ways to in order to, to, decide to, to go to war. Yeah. So then, how are they in war right now? Because it's is it like is it like a sidestep. It's not like they didn't actually declare well, yeah, war. Yeah. What Bush started was um... he didn't declare war. No, no, no. He did, but he he went against what this the you're supposed the way you're supposed to do it in America. Oh, he didn't care at all. Yeah, he's like after that, I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah, you're supposed to get Congress um, approval as well, and he didn't. Oh, that's so funny. Was <laughs> was he just like stop me, do it? You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> no, he just went to war. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they, they, like, they just, just like, yeah. Congress know. is like, yo, bro, can't do it. And he's like, stop me. And they couldn't stop him. No, you're supposed to wait for them. It's not that the Congress is going to say no. Uh-huh. You're supposed to wait for them to say yes as well, and then you can go. Yeah, I know, but if they said no, we're at an impasse. Yeah. But he's like, stop me. No, I don't think he said that. They just, no, I know. They just, just, metaphorically. They just, yeah, they like, just, he like, just went forward with it without yeah. doing it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Come at me, bro. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but it's funny, though, because like, actually uh, paying attention to like Donald Trump, he's actually very entertaining. As like a president, like I get why yeah, these I think smaller Bush was states... entertaining too. That's the same. Thing. Yeah, but I was young. Like I didn't really pay attention. I was just like, oh, this is what's happening right now. I was like, okay. No, I mean a lot of those Dave Chappelle. Oh, remember that clip I showed you? Right. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. 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 There like, was a lot uh, of that. During yeah. That yeah, time yeah. too, and same thing now against Trump. Yeah, that's true. Um, his uh, his most recent tweet about the uh, not most recent, it was like a couple days ago. Yeah. I was talking about. Um, uh, the North Korea guy, Kim Jong. Uh, yeah, there's a quick summary of that one. We'll have the tweet somewhere in the video. Yeah. Uh, but uh, quick summary. He's just like he's just calling him out. He's like, "Hey man, I got the bigger stick." <laughs> right. <laughs> what was that one? Uh, there's a couple of them, right? So yeah, yeah true, true. He he has been trolling um, uh, quite a while. I don't know if it's trolling or just he's just dumb. I don't I don't know. Really? Eh? Yeah. You think, like, he thinks that's his diplomacy? Yeah. Okay, let's... Like, what let's was his tweet? Up. I don't remember. Because the I'm one I remember right was... Okay, so his tweet is, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un just stated that uh, the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Uh, will someone from his depleted and food starved regime... All right, so that's pretty next level. <laughs> from his depleted and food starved regime... Yeah. Oh, that's just the... You're hitting in the low blow. Please inform him that uh, I, too, have a nuclear button. This is true. Uh, but it is much bigger and more powerful than his, and my button works. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like he's just straight up saying, um, I got the bigger stick. No, that's a, that's a childish way of talking to say that I got a bigger dick. Yeah, that's true. I I, that's I, what I, honest, like, that's I believe a... that no other president has ever done. No, no something one's done like that. that. That that's why I'm saying like that's pretty balls. Like when I when I saw, it, I was like, wow, 
that's awesome. You know, like you have no disregard for diplomacy. You have no disregard for laws, which is kind of funny though, because mm-hmm. like I posted that tweet on Instagram and people were like, I hope you're not serious. I'm like, no, no, it's obviously a joke. Yeah. You know, like to see how dumb this guy is. Yeah. Like it's effective, effective diplomacy from his point of view. Yeah. Which is like ineffective. And diplomacy. The, yeah. And the other one was, um, I wouldn't say like maybe like, all right. So, I'd no, say he's I, like clever. I, what they're saying is he's that like a fox. Like I wouldn't say he's dumb. No, what they're saying is that it could it could be not good because it could, it could trigger the other guy. Oh, for sure. To actually, do something. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then there there will be casualties because they you, both do you think they have that, nukes as well. Do you think that they each like um, pay attention to each other's Twitter though? Does Kim Jong Un have Twitter? That oh. would be one interesting one to follow. Uh, I'm not sure. That, like, right? It's just like him speaking North Korean. Yeah, <laughs> she's like what? Uh, yeah, I I don't know if he has Twitter, but I don't. Oh my god, does. you see the Russian assassination? Oh no, sorry, not Russia. Sorry, sorry, Russia, not you guys. The North Korean ass- assassination that was crazy. Where it was his brother or something, and then like yeah, she she put this like brothers. powder on him, and then he started like coughing, and he just died. Yeah, like, that's yeah. next level, man. Yeah, and they did it in a, like in a public place. Yeah, in a public place at a some other country's airport. I don't know, man. That's crazy. It's it's uh it's sort of like um the um, it's sort of like uh, that's something that you'd see in like Black Mirror, you know? like uh, at the spoiler alert in the last episode of Black Mirror, um, where she makes him drink like the water. Yeah, that was kind of like one of those moments. It's like, e like, you just never know. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, yeah, I just I don't know, man. If it's any, if it's gonna be any good to do that. What he's doing, Trump. The Trump stuff? Why yeah. not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is you know? All right. Potential for impeachment. What do you think? Potential? Well, likelihood. Well, if they find stuff, yeah, they're doing. I know, right? right? It's thing, like right? when people make a big deal. Oh, he's gonna get impeached. I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's probably really hard to get impeached. It's hard. Yeah, of like, course. You can't just get impeached for bad actions. No. Like you have to. It's there's got to be some ground. There's a bunch you know? of different reasons, much bunch of different things like mental stability. He has to break the law. Yeah. Uh, but mental stability is like new thing that was popping up because oh, they're just thinking new, of anything to no, kick no, no, him out. No, no, a now. new book came out, right? Okay. And in that, uh, mentioned mental stability. That's why he recent tweet was about why I'm not mentally. Oh, he's like I'm mentally strong. Yeah, I'm mentally strong. I'm smart. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm like, people are trying I'm to... like smart, you know. Let's face it. Interesting, but e- all right. So, society is like really interesting because society is really just a game of beliefs, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, it's like, it's like when we say like mental stability, it's like, but then if he's mentally unstable, but he got voted in, how mentally unstable are the people that are voting him in? No, yeah, they just believed what he was doing. Like yeah, what was Trump? Unstable. Yeah, what was Dave like, Chappelle's line, right? Like, he, the poor people that voted for him uh, think that this rich guy is working for them. Oh, right. But he's like, no, he's working for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. We, we, uh, we, we tend to forget that that's how, like, the, the game works. It's like money keeps money in power, you know? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta use money to make money, and then once you've made money, you can stay with money. You stay with money, yeah. Right? It's like because, because like bankruptcy. That's mm-hmm. what I mean. So like, if you really think about it, so Donald Trump, he went bankrupt so many times, right? Yeah, yeah. S- still has money. So it's like once you make money, you're in the money club, you know. Mm-hmm. Unless you're like a boxer who lost all their money, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that does happen though. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So, um, anything else? Anything else you want to talk about for this weekly roundup? Before mm. we round it up? No, nothing. Just a yeah. new new year. New year, new topics. New games. New games, yep. Yeah, those games do sound pretty sick. Um, Elon Musk is a freaking genius. Yeah. I'm excited for what's going to happen in 2018. Like, I feel like something... Nah, actually, I say that every year. 
I feel like this year's gonna be like a crazy year. But it's like, well, nothing really happened between that year. But I did notice though that like New Year does spur psychology in people because like a bunch of people were like, a bunch of clients were just talking to me. I was like, oh, that's like you're just coming out of the woodwork now because like, oh, now I'm gonna start my business in this year. I'm like, oh, okay, why would oh, you it's, start it's, it? It's the resolution thing. Yeah, yeah, the resolution uh, thing. That's so why I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll just I'll give you a little suggestion, and if you're actually serious, show me the money <laughs> because like. Yeah, like, then, but then by February, and, you know, the resolution. Nobody already. calls me back. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, I mean, this is the year I start my business. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe you. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's funny how, like, that, that works, though, eh? It's like mentality is so big, you know, against it. It's, it's like you think that you think that just because you think you can do something means mm -hmm. you're going to do it. Yeah. Right? It's like how many how many times have you heard something that, like, nobody's followed through on, you know? I think I think the whole thing is like you gotta start small, you know. You gotta make it as if it's like, because it's a habit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. to to change your life is like, it's a habit, and habits are built not by big choices but by small ones built up over day day after day. Yeah, one step at a time. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But then people like, I feel like this is why they break their habits because they're like, like yeah, New Year, I'm gonna do this this year, and it's like, ooh, you overshot heavy. Yeah, I think I think they do say that. Yeah, if you uh, like hold a goal that's not achievable in like you know in a certain time period or whatever like right? a day like a day yeah yeah and then you feel um feel bad for not reaching it that's true eh? and then you just stop uh yeah for sure it, it it's all goal. about like compounded effects yeah right so like um if you if you set a goal that's too high and you don't achieve it you're gonna feel bad yeah then the next day that goes by you're gonna feel more bad yeah. and then more bad and more bad it's like building interest on your sadness Mm -hmm. But then if you set an easy goal, then you feel better. And you set another easy goal, oh, you feel better. Yeah. And then it's compounded interest. You feel better about all these goals you end up following through. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Although we, we did have that talk. All right, so actually, you know what? We're going to segue into that talk because I can't write an article about this, but I would like to talk about it. Uh, how uh, people, sometimes you just need a garbage man. Not that garbage men are like a bad job, but they, like... I mean, they get paid good here, so... They actually do get paid good, very well. But it's like... We it's one of the most uh, frustrating or like saddening things. It's yeah. more sad now. It used to be really frustrating for me, but now it's like very saddening when uh, when you see how many people want to achieve something great and then nobody actually has the follow through to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but like it's it's like they can't. Or it's uh -huh. it's a delusion of thinking you can do something great. Like it's it's right 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 all right so so they say like um they say that the most intelligent people are the ones that uh have the hardest time with life because they're the most they're the most likely to become depressed yeah because they right. understand their like um their um insignificance mm -hmm. or their inability to do something the likelihood of something you know what i mean but it's like it's like then you so you have that end of the spectrum where you become depressed yeah. and then you have the other end of the spectrum where you become delusional mm -hmm. you know and it's like both are living with their belief systems you know mm -hmm. and it's like the thing that's carrying that other person through the day to day is the delusion that they will one day become amazing <laughs> yeah you know by doing nothing right you know it, it's different if you that's not to say you shouldn't believe in yourself it's different if you believe in yourself and you're making actions towards it then it's like yeah, you know, 100% you yeah. know you just keep doing what you're doing and if it comes to pass it'll come to pass but if it doesn't at least you're doing something you love right right but it's it's delusional it becomes delusional when you're like i'm gonna become something great and it's like oh what have you done nothing yeah. so it's like so what are you supposed to do? there's like two billion people on this earth what's going to separate you apart from another person mm -hmm. that's really what it comes down to you know and the delusion the delusion is thinking that you're separate from somebody else you're separate from the whole when you haven't done anything to prove that fact. Yeah. You know. True. Yeah. Respect your place. Yeah. Sometimes you, it doesn't work out. But but do you think it's like you think it's more important to like I think it's important it's like more peace of mind if you or maybe it's just frustrating for me because I don't like hearing that stuff. Maybe it's like good for them. Like it, it fuels them, you know? To like to be like, oh man, if it wasn't for this, I would have been this. Right. Or like you know, like excuses. Mm -hmm. You know, or like, oh, I'm going to do this because I got this and then nothing happens. You know, it's like that, that's just irritating for me. But like, I feel like um, I feel like if it's driving them to keep going because yeah. if they actually 
like took a pause and looked at their situation, you might just like end it right there. <laughs> like, wow, this is not how I expected this to <laughs> reset button. Right, right. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. People crazy. Yeah. Just yeah, you know, true. just enjoy where, that's you're, true. where you're at. Yeah, appreciate where you're at. Yeah, that's that's a big one. That's something you taught me actually, because like I remember like those uh those intense insights of like the finality of it all. It's like, well, that's why I play video games. I was like, yeah, that's true. I should I should appreciate that more, you know, because <laughs> it's like we're in this temporal experience, you know. Yeah. And like it's gonna go anyways, so might as well do something you like about it, like within it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to be alive. Oh, that's there. That's how we'll end it. Uh, new year, new you. 2018 podcast is in the books. We're lucky to be alive. Yeah. All right. Yeah, unless I was gonna make a joke. What's the joke? Um, you tell unless me. Unless you're Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna end it there. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Till next time. Yeah. See ya. Bye.